What's up, boozers? We kind of went themey today because we had a lot of free time and we needed to watch more movies. So we both did weird, crazy, insane makeup while we were watching I, Hellraiser. I am 90s goth. She's 90s goth, but she's going to go to Boss next week. I did like this China doll thing and I'm really wishing I had not gone tanning today. You can't tell that I've used something different on my face. I just match perfect. The house is that October built. This movie was pretty awesome. It was 2014. This was directed by Bobby Rowe, written by Zach Andrews. People, they play their own names, like uh, Paranormal Activity style. Brandy, Zach, Bobby, Mikey, and Jeff. And I thought the acting was fantastic. I agree. So realistic. It was, because for a while I was wondering, is this really something that someone... Like, is it yeah. like a documentary yeah, type tell. thing? And they are a group of friends. Who, they're looking for, like, the backwoods haunts, which have no rules, they say. They go through countless different haunted houses. <laughs> Don't even laugh. And are on the hunt for this. Blue skeleton. The blue skeleton. It's a secret haunt that moves around and is supposed Every year. to be the yeah. most extreme thing ever. There's a forum that is connected to this and gives you a couple little clues here and there. And then if you follow them, they make themselves known to you or, you know, help you find the way if they feel you're worthy. So They explain it pretty thoroughly, I think, throughout the film. The problem that I had with that is that I cannot figure out whether these people doing everything to them were Blue Skeleton or whether they mm -hmm. weren't. I think that's the best part about the ending. The ending upset me at first because it just kind of ends and then it, it was over. I was infuriated. They buried them alive. But the more I sat and thought about it, the more I liked the ending. I enjoyed not knowing if these were genuinely attached to the blue skeleton or if it was just a group of psychopaths that like to dress up for Halloween. The masks are so creepy. The one, I would say that it's full of jump scares. It's got a lot of jump scares, a lot of like creepy parts to it. Not anything overly scary. The one part of this that horrified me was when that girl came on the bus with the mask. Yeah. She, I think she stole the entire show. I think she was the best character in the whole thing. And she only had, you know, like maybe five minutes of screen time. She came on with this mask on and sat on their little tour bus that they had going on, RV. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't say anything. And they were asking, you know, do you need to go somewhere? Can we take you somewhere? What's wrong? Are you okay? What, you know, what's going on? And she Weird like screen. looks around at everybody. And then her mask moves like it's her actual face. And she just lets out this weird shriek. Shrink. Yeah, did you not notice that? How could you not fucking notice that? That was what I noticed. I didn't remember. It wasn't a real mask, though. It was makeup. It was, I know. But... It was so well done. I just, the way it moved with her mouth, oh. it just looked like it was her, you know, the mask could have been her. Once it got to the point of them finding the blue skeleton, or people pretending to be the blue skeleton, I enjoyed it a lot less. I thought it got too slashery, but it not... Very good. They definitely don't show anything, which well, I did like. Well, the thing about that is that they mention through the whole movie that these extreme haunts are basically anything except killing you. And they don't ever show them killing somebody. They show them knocking them out or, you know, burying them alive. All kinds of things. But you never see any of them dead. You don't see them get killed at all. Which I loved about it because it just added to the element of is this real or is it not? And you're not going to know. I want to work in an extreme hunt. I don't. <laughs> or go to one and just challenge them. Because I'm, when I'm drunk, nothing will scare me and I'm just Well, the extreme haunts are basically not really people jumping out and going boo. It's people picking you up or dragging you off. They can pull you by your hair type thing. Anything I but will be kill fine you. for the first you five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> You have to sign, you know, consent waivers and all that. You know, basically, if you actually get hurt, you can't sue them. In the end, IMDb rates this a 5.1 out of 10. I think that is... Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's more like a 
I'd double that. I'd... 10.2. <laughs> I would easily give this a 9. I was so impressed with this movie. Uh, yeah, I was scared the entire time. And I watched this in the middle of the day while I was very awake and... Oh, so did I. I could not believe that I had never seen this before. It just blew me away. I I'd heard about it, yeah. I remember reading the time seeing, this, seeing the cover. All right, guys, so make sure to comment what you thought of this movie. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Check out our social media. Media. Media? Media. Make sure to catch us on our next episode. And as always, stay awesome. Keep boozing. Cheers.